Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to reading your comments. Mark! Behind you! It's... It's a... Oh God! A penis! Mark, when are you gonna marry Jack? Well, if Jack was good enough to deserve me, then maybe he would have a chance, but as it stands, he's so terrible and stupid and ugly and has a terrible accent. Oh, by the way, he's Irish. <laughs> So I can't. Ah, Septiplier are done. Mark, I have a question. Do you listen to K-pop? If yes, then who's your favorite? If no, then why? Okay, K-pop is Korean pop, if anyone didn't notice. And uh, I don't listen to them because I frankly don't listen to all that much music to begin with. But it is a little bit embarrassing that I have a ton of family in Korea and yet I don't participate in hardly any of their culture. My mom's actually in Korea right now, so if you're watching this, mom. Hi, mom! Hope you're having fun! And also, I don't want to listen to K-pop. Not that it's not bad. I don't want to be like, okay, it's fine. I mean, maybe it's better than J-pop. I don't know. And I probably just offended J-pop people out there. <laughs> entertain us, Mark. I said entertain us! Oh, God. <laughs> So you said you're not gay, but you never said you were not bisexual. So are you just straight or bisexual? Well, it pretty much goes hand in hand that if I say I'm not gay, then I'm not bisexual. Sorry to crush everyone's dreams. I don't like penises, except for my own. It's- <laughs> Oh man. How do you guys keep getting me to talk about my dick? No, not bisexual, sorry. Septiplier a crash. Mark, whose idea was it to come up with the Boner Podcast? Oh, how oddly topical to the penis talk. I started this video off correctly. Well, it was, I, th I believe it was Bob and Jack's idea originally, and then they told us about it in the uh, prop hunt videos that we did, and we couldn't stop talking about penises. Not because we have a problem, and not because any of us are gay and or bisexual. We're straight, we're, and that's okay. Also being gay is okay. We got no problem with that. We just have a uh, rampant, out of a control love for penis. And that's all right. Like, there's nothing weird about that. We love talking about dicks. And dicks are great. If you're into that sort of thing, uh, again, I'm not getting defensive just because I'm getting louder. <laughs> it's not it's a powder podcast! What's to be? Dear Markiplier, this is the leader of a witch wizard coven, and we have seen your dark side in your previous videos and the effectiveness of your powers. We'd like to recruit you and see more. Extra points for killing a little girl named Caroline or Amaris. Um, no! I want to be very clear. I'm not a witch, and I'm definitely not a wizard. No big burly man by the name of Hagrid had burst down my door and told me that I'm such. So I'm not that. And I don't know about no killing of little, uh, as demon possesses they may be, I have done no murder. This is sounding more suspicious by the second, the louder my voice gets. But I want to be very clear, I'm 100% innocent, I've never killed anyone in my life. Glad that matter is settled. Mark, serious question. Have you ever had an, a racist encounter before? I'm truly curious. Yes, absolutely I have. Um, I grew up in a small town. So, being from a small town, I was one of two Asian kids. Even though I'm half Asian, I was one of two Asian kids in my entire school. And uh, that was me and my brother. Oh, and, and this other guy, he was full Korean. But for some reason, no matter what, it's like, you know, drop in the bucket kind of thing. It, it doesn't matter. And so growing up, I had to deal with a lot of, you know, Asian jokes and a lot of people pointing out the fact that I was Asian more than pointing out the fact that I was Mark. So, yes, I, I did deal with that. And, and actually, my brother dealt with it more than I did because he even had teachers that were, like, openly prejudiced against him. And I, I, I didn't even know why. I wasn't in the class at the time, but he could tell you that... Uh, like early on, way early on, he had teachers that like openly belittled him uh, just because he was part Asian and, and it was a very bizarre situation. It got better over time, mostly because, you know, I started st sticking up for ourselves and, and my brother and I were just cool to begin with. Um, but, you know, we, we were often, we went from a private school to a public school about third grade and that transition was hard because we'd never been in public school before and uh, we didn't understand how everything worked. So when we were very young, you know, we would get bullied a lot because we were Asian. 
And that did die down over time, but you know, it, it never really left because it kind of just became like, oh, my friends are gonna make Asian jokes, I just kind of have to live with that until I realized that, hey, I should probably tell them if it bothers me. And it did, and then I told them, and then they stopped because it, it's not like they were intentionally trying to hate on me, it's just that the, the, that's the jokes they were making. It was kind of like the situation that it was, and I'm not saying that's good, I'm just saying that's how it was, so. Yeah, I did, and I lived through it, and I learned from it, so, yeah. And I'm only, like, and that's the funny thing, I'm only half Korean, but, you know, it doesn't matter sometimes. If you're even a little bit different from what people consider the norm to be, then, you know, you're an oddball. You're the oddball, and a society has to come a long way before that gets better, and I'm not saying I get it worse than some people, like, you know, like, there, there's many, many, many minorities that have it way worse than I did as a kid. I'm just saying, like, this is my personal experience, and I hope that as a society, you know, we can move forward from that sort of stuff and not recognize our differences for, like, the outward stuff, but our differences on the inside and what makes us actually uh, different as people and special as people and, and recognizing us for our unique talents and not our general talents or general appearance. You know, each of us is special in our own way and that's a cliche, but it's also true because we have to recognize our own talents just as much as other people need to have an open mind to recognize what makes each person special. So that's my experience. Where is Chica right now? All right, Chica, you peed on the floor. So you get to wear the fedora of shame. You wear it at, you wear it. You wear the fedora you chewed up. You wear it. Are you proud of what you've done? Are you proud? Mark, I dare you to call Wade and say in a very sexy voice, Double the morning, dear ladies! Okay. Hello? Top of the morning to you, laddies. What? Creepy. Top of the morning to ya, laddies. Top of the morning to ya, laddies. That's not okay. That's not okay, Wade. I'll call you back. Bye. <laughs> Mark, did you ever watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Absolutely. It was one of my favorite shows. That and old SpongeBob. You know what I'm talking about. Season one through four SpongeBob. Not any of the other stuff, because that stuff got weird. But you know, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, it was a great show. I loved, like, the unique comedy that that show had because it had like the, the weird sound effect physical comedy and that was really cool I mean that's in a lot of animation but it was just so well done like the totally mismatched sound effects were my absolute favorite and like the sumo sound and you know like that's oh god every time it came up I was like a stupid kid so obviously I like that <laughs> anyway this boy at my school said that you were not very funny and that you have no life what should I tell him that he's absolutely right, I'm not funny, I replace my humor with penises, and then I get by my daily life just thinking about how I can make another dick joke. It's the only thing I'll ever do. If you had a chance to rename Wade, what would it be? I'll ask him. Hello? Wade, I need a solid favor from you right now. You got it. Say, my name is Captain McBoogerbutt. My name is Captain McBuggerbutt. I appreciate the accent as being a part of that. You're welcome. <laughs> Bottom of the morning to you, Captain McBuggerbutt. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> what was that? Why? Hey, Mark of Art. Do you plan on meeting more fans on Omegle or something? Uh, sure. I'll do it right now. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you have a microphone? No, this this this, hey. this, this isn't real, right? That's kind of real. I can't I can't hear you very well. What the? Okay, I'll say oh. it one last okay. time, as loud I'll as I say can. It one last time. As loud as I can. I'm okay, recording that's a, lot a video. Better. Thank you. And I was, video, you yeah. something yeah. Was I was hoping you could say something to the people watching. Something to the people watching. Something inspirational yeah. or something that could help people that may be struggling or having a rough time. Struggling or having a rough time. Oh, okay. 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 Um, no matter what happens, no matter what is going through your life currently, the things that will make it feel a lot better, like something will show the tiniest event will just make your life a lot better. No matter what duration you're in, it'll get better, no matter what. Oh, that's so, great. So, if you, if you need help, you need to talk to somebody, or, um, 
if you need somebody to talk to, then there's people online, there's people around the world, there's people that they'll help you no matter what. Even the smallest or largest problem you have, we will listen to you. And uh, if you need help, then please find help. But it'll be a lot better. It won't stay with you for the rest of your life. That's great. <sighs> Thank you very much. What's your name? Your name? Uh, my name is Paige, and I'm, yeah. <laughs> What was that? Paige. Paige. Well, thank you very much, Paige. Paige. I well, got to get going. Much, so I, I got to say bye going. for now. But thank you yeah, very that's much. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you because you've helped me a lot through a lot of everything. So thank you for making videos and such because you're a wonderful person. And thank you for everything else. So. Oh, well, well, thank I you very much for it. watching. I hope you have a good thank day. Thank you very much for watching. No. I hope you have a good day. Uh, you too. You too. Uh, Bye! Okay, so that was reading your comments. Thank you everybody so much for watching, thank you, and I will do another Omegle event very soon. I will do a full one this time, so thank you everybody so much for watching, thank you for being there for me, and take those words of inspiration to heart, because they do mean a lot, and I'm really glad that she, Paige, came out and said those things. So thank you again everybody, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!